Greetings, and welcome back once again to the dark side of the Force. Yes, the Disney marketing machine is upon us, and you will watch this trailer, and I will not find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> Sorry, I've been looking for an excuse to wear this for ages. Um, it really doesn't fit me. Uh, yes, uh, a new Star Wars trailer is upon us, and um, uh, it's got to be watched. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't react as it were to the previous Rogue One trailer, uh, but I've heard good things about this one. Frankly, I did like the previous one as well. But, but let's dive in, shall we? Let's take a look. Ooh. The world is coming undone. Imperial flags reign. The scale, the, the scale. Can you be trusted without your shackles? Let's just get this over with, shall we? We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know how to destroy it. Oh, that was in the previous trail, wasn't it? Are you really doing this? I want to help. Good. Good. I've been recruiting for the rebellion for a long time. You destroyed our home. I fight the Empire now. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. <sighs> Chills. The captain says you are a friend. I will not kill you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> there isn't much time. Oh, upside down Death Star. I suppose there's no up or down in space. There's a 97.6 percent chance of failure. Shadow Troopers. <laughs> oh, rain. Rain on X wings, gorgeous. To make a real difference. Jungle combat, so beach combat. Again, the scale. Are you with me? All the way. All the way. Oh, goosebumps. We got goosebumps. <laughs> Darth Vader. Oh, I've got oh, actually no no I knew Darth Vader was going to be in it he was going to be in it wasn't he all the way um well uh <laughs> that's that's a damn fine trailer I like actually I like it because it's, it's doing a lot of world I, 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 I know I often say this when I sort of talk about things but I always appreciate world building when it comes to uh to, to, well, to anything frankly but especially in this instance they're fleshing out they're filling in the cracks of uh, of the of the of the original tri tri trilogy universe, um, the uh, I mean, really really intrigued by these characters. I want to know more. You know, the guy who's lost his home, um, Forrest Whitaker's character looks really intriguing. Uh, but the scale, it really it really emphasises that the Empire's just gone, you know, really st stomping its foot down on the galaxy. Um, you know, we have the Star Destroyers. Uh, the Death Star is looking fantastic. The uh, that, that that huge is it a storm or explosion that's chasing the little ship. Uh, it's it's a film that's it just looks gorgeous. It looks. Go I mean, uh, it's one of those weird things where I I often when I, when I was uh, growing up, I used to read a lot of the Star Wars magazines and comics, and I often liked the side stories better. Lots of people, for example, like Dash Rendar, this kind of thing, you know, from the computer games, and. Um, uh, you know, and other characters, you know, this kind of, and and I think I may, well, I may well end up liking the uh, the, the the sort of um, anthology is it anthology films or you know basically the the side stories, um, just as much if not possibly more than the than the uh, you know the central Star Wars films because that's I like this I like that it's not all about a single Jedi hero I like that, that you've got a team it looks like. Um, it just looks dirty and gritty, and uh, and actually, also actually going back to to what made George Lucas's vision really great, and that was this dirty, lived-in um, 
oppressed feeling that, for example, you got when you got onto that onto the Millennium Falcon in the first Star Wars. Uh, you know, you, you had a sense of of life being difficult for smugglers, this kind of thing. Uh, and in this trailer, you're getting a real sense of life being difficult if you're not part of the Empire. Um, I'm liking that. Obviously, we always saw was the back of Darth Vader's head there, or rather, I suppose his uh, his uh, his armor. But um, yeah. That's good. That's good shit. Good shit. So I think at the moment, based on the trailers and what else could it be based on, uh, I think my favourite thing about this movie is the look of it, the scale, the scope, um, the fact that, that they're really bringing home to you just how small an individual person is compared to the Empire. The Empire, you know? Um, I suppose it'd be interesting to see if they end up tipping the balance a bit too much because you know, because it, it, it may, you may end up thinking, well, how on earth did Ewoks overthrow this empire? You know, <laughs> um, but I suppose what we're looking at here is the empire at pretty much at its golden peak, and then it'll after the Battle of Yavin, it becomes incre increasingly uh, desperate and, and disparate, I guess. But um, mwah! very, very good. Anyway, guys, uh, I couldn't resist talking a little bit about this. I'm technically meant to be. Uh, doing some work, I do work from home, but um, I simply couldn't resist uh, just watching this trailer. Until next time guys, do take care. Bye bye.